Hi guys, in this tip I will explain to you how to use automated uh, photo collages uh, which is uh, my product. Uh, so you will first download the zip file which you need to extract anywhere you want on your computer and this is what you will see. Uh, folder automated uh, photo collages and if you expand it there are a couple of subfolders photo collages actions styles templates and user guide uh, first thing to do is to expand photo collages actions and then simply double click on this uh, file or right click and choose open with adobe photoshop version if you do not see uh, these options in your explorer then go to window and uh, choose actions and from actions uh, panel uh, click on this hamburger icon and choose load actions and then navigate uh, to automated photo collages photo collages actions photo collages atn Double click on that file and that will load photo collages actions in Adobe Photoshop. And the next thing you need to do is to expand the automated uh, photo collages folder and to go in templates folder. I have installed the extension which is showing me thumbnails. I will expand another subfolder which is uh, collages 7 images. And uh, here leaves collages with uh, which needs seven images. I have installed the extension which is showing me uh, th thumbnail preview. So I can see how many horizontal and vertical orientation images I need for each uh, template. But if you don't uh, have a extension which is uh, showing you thumbnail preview then you can right click and choose uh, browse in adobe bridge and then you will see uh, version in adobe bridge you can certainly see previews of all uh, psd templates so uh, you need to double click or open uh, any of these psd files in photoshop and that can be done in several ways to double click on file or in uh, Photoshop to go to file, open, navigate to uh, folder uh, with uh, PSD templates. So you go to automated photo collages, then templates, then uh, collages, any of these subfolders. It depends how many images you want to use for your collage and then to expand that uh, folder and to uh, double click on uh, PSD file. That will open uh, PSD file in Photoshop. And uh, if you see those guides, you can go to view, clear guides, and you can concentrate only on layout. And uh, my recommendation is to go to image duplicate and to duplicate original file uh, to protect it and to close it just in case so just click uh, no don't save changes and then continue working with uh, copy which is exactly the same as um, original and uh, you can easily determine how many images you need for a template uh, from uh, file name or just by looking at these numbers so uh, this template needs seven images uh, go to actions panel so window actions uh, i assume that you have previously loaded actions as um, i have explained and then I run uh, corresponding uh, action so uh, for this template which needs seven images i will run collage seven images so you just need to click on action name and then uh, click on play button and then you will see message read it and click continue and uh, start navigating to folder with uh, images which you want to use and here is my photos uh, 
uh, folder. So I will look at the template. Uh, this uh, first image you will start placing from top to bottom. So first image is horizontal orientation. I will double click on this image. And uh, after placing image, uh, each and every image, you will have opportunity to uh, scale, rotate and move it. So you will see another message, click continue. And then uh, I will use Shift and Alt, navigate mouse to any corner, expand or enlarge this uh, image, and then to uh, confirm. And uh, after confirming uh, placement, uh, you will see another dialog. So now you need to place a second image, which is also horizontal orientation. Uh, let me close this panel uh, and same thing you need uh, you can scale rotate uh, move placed image confirm and uh, after confirming photoshop will open uh, again a replace file uh, dialog uh, where you can choose image to place uh, at this moment at position three and uh, here I can see that uh, I need vertical orientation image. I will double click on this image. And again, uh, just repeat process of scaling, moving and uh, rotating image uh, which is placed. And now uh, there is number four. Let me place this image. I will expand it, enlarge it. Okay. And now number five, it needs a vertical orientation image. I will double click on this image, uh, enlarge it a little bit, confirm. Oops, I need to enlarge this image, confirm. And now uh, I need to select uh, image for position six, just to wait a couple of seconds and uh, for position six i need horizontal orientation image i will choose this one and same uh, same thing so in this case in my case i need to uh, enlarge image you may need to scale it down and uh, after placing image if you don't see uh, handles to scale image for example, you have uh, much larger images uh, of uh, what I'm using. Just press Control Zero, and uh, that will show you handles uh, to scale a placed image. And let me scale and this image, confirm, and that's it. And now you can, uh, after placing images, you can select any of uh, placed images and to uh, move it around or to press Control T to uh, scale it. Uh, if you want, you can do just any change. And in case uh, that you want to replace some of already placed images, uh, you will need to select layer with uh, that image. I am do, doing that using a uh, move tool and with auto select layer uh, turned on. So you just click on uh, image that will select that image in layers panel or uh, simply uh, expand the layers panel and uh, click on image which you want to replace. And uh, for this job, you can also use actions. Uh, and here is my actions panel. But uh, in this case, when you are replacing image, uh, you will need to use replace any placed image uh, action. So you need first to select a layer with that image, then uh, select uh, this action name and click on play button. And uh, you will see message, click continue, and then select any other image that you have uh, on your computer and that will replace that image and uh, again you will have uh, uh, handles to scale it to move it around and so on so uh, 
Thanks for watching. I hope this will help you to uh, effectively use automated uh, photo collages uh, PSD templates. Thanks for watching again. And if you have any question or doubt, uh, please do not hesitate to leave comments uh, on YouTube.